Repair.com. Today we're going to show you how to test a condenser on a lawnmower and see if it's working or not. Okay, we're going to start by testing some of these condensers. First thing we're going to test is the capacitance. So we're going to put our meter to 20 UF here. Your meter may not have a capacitance reading, which could be a problem. But if you put the black terminal on the condenser and the red on the lead, you should get a reading here. You can see this one is 0.33 or 0.32. So that's this one. Get this big fat one here. We'll do the same thing. So we're getting 0.16, 0.17, so about half. This one we're getting 0.18. This one we're going to get. 0.17 Okay, the first thing we're going to do is grab a condenser. This is one of the ones that read 0.17 We're going to put the black in here Put the red in there on the 200 millivolt setting and just drain it make sure it says 0 0 0 Then we're going to flick it to 2 million and you may see the numbers skyrocket up before it hits 1 I'll just get the leads connected Flip it to. There we go, we can flip it to 2 million. You saw for a fraction of a second there, the number shot up and then it went to 1, which means there was too much resistance, but it's still going to be putting voltage in, so we're just going to charge up the condenser or the capacitor that it is. Okay, now we're going to just have the red leader connected. And then we're going to set it back to 200 millivolts. Wait for the reading to hit zero. And when you touch it here, you should see a voltage, and the voltage will quickly go down to zero as it drains. So there you saw it's going down, going down, back to zero. So we're going to try it again, this time on the uh, capacitor, the red 0.33. Going to do the same process. We're going to drain it first. This is draining the volts out of the capacitor, so it should have zero volts. Then, when we switch it to two million resistance, it's going to put voltage into the capacitor and charge it up. So we're going to leave it there for a few seconds to make sure it's charged. We're going to take off the black lead because the purpose of the condenser is to hold a charge. And so this tests if the condenser is holding an electrical charge. So I'll switch it to 200 millivolts. And once the reading is zero, we'll see if there's any voltage in there. Because there should still be voltage here, even if I've left it for a couple of seconds. So when we touch it, the volts will go down like so. Slowly until they hit zero. As the capacitor or condenser lets the charge out. So that's the best way to test the condenser, because the, although the capacitance readings are different, they all seem to work. They're holding a charge and letting it out 